All right, guys, we're here in the shop today, and I want to go over some network stuff. It's a question we get a lot because, um, you know, a huge amount of our customers are small and mid-sized businesses. You don't have an IT team and stuff, and you just want to keep your CNC machines secure. There's a lot of cyber threats and stuff out there. So we get asked a lot about, like, how do I keep my machines on the network and have it be secure? Don't have to worry about it. I've got the answers for you today. So really what this comes down to is you want to have a good, like baseline of keeping a secure network and then a general network. So a secure network would be what your CNC machines are on and then what like your CAD workstation is on. So an easy way to do that um, is with this device here, this is called a UDM Pro. Um, there's others out there. I found for like small and mid-sized businesses, this is really like the easiest to use one if you're gonna self-administrate your network because it has just enough features that lets you do these things you need to do um, without being like overly complicated. So a basic rundown of this is this is more or less a kind of a router on steroids, I guess. So we have our, um, our modem up here and then this is our UDM and we have a bunch of different ports and really you'll notice we only have like three things plugged into this. So we have our, our Wi-Fi access point, um, which is serving our networks. And then we have uh, my computer here, and then we have going to the shop next door where the CNC machines are. So the beauty of this setup is you can actually configure these ports differently so they're on sort of their own networks, um, yet they can still access the internet when they need to. The main key here is you don't want random stuff like our like security cameras and our printer and all that uh, interacting with your CNC machines. You want to go through like a least trust, you know, type mindset. So what actually needs to talk to this? So that's what we have here. Um, on my computer over here, I have the uh, console loaded up for our Dream Machine Pro, UDM Pro. And this is where we can see kind of all our dashboard stuff. It looks cool. Um, but really what matters on here is the way we have the ports configured. So if I pull this up, um, I can see what's plugged in on the UDM Pro, and then I wanna go to the port manager. And basically what this is is a list of all, this thing has eight ports plus obviously like the input, um, and you can see what's going on on your network. So around here, most of everything is on Wi-Fi. So that's on port two where we have our access point connected. And then, of course, the other two ports are our CNC machines next door, and then this computer, because this needs to be able to talk to the CNC machines. So what we did special, um, which is pretty easy to do with uh, Ubiquity, UDM, um, is put these on a secure network. So you'll notice that when I click on port seven, it'll say I've set the primary network to secure. So we have default, we have IP cameras, we have guest, and we have secure. So default is just sort of, everything you know on the network my laptop derek's computer um, ip cameras is just our security cameras guest is anybody that comes along wants to get on our network and then secure is really just locked down to this cad machine the cad machines next door and our cnc machines so that's kind of step one um, and that's all configurable i think i already have the tab open um, under networks in this here now the other thing too that's neat about the ubiquity setup is you can do multiple uh, Wi-Fi networks. So we have a specific Wi-Fi network for our security cameras, guest, secure, and then we also have like a test net up here. So the idea behind that is we have one Wi-Fi access point that's allowing us to really connect whatever we need um, on the appropriate network. So when you have that all set up like that, it it's, may sound a little complicated. This is like the best layman's like small business way to set up your network. So you make sure those machines are secure. You don't have to worry about anything on your network getting hijacked and talking to it. You only have it talking to the computer that it needs to talk to. And of course, um, we can come over here when you set up chatter. Let's uh, figure out how to get around this camera. <laughs> um, you've got your chatter box and uh, this thing is, is sort of the same deal. So when you're gonna set it up wired, um, you'll just plug it in. We, if you require, it can set up on Wi-Fi, but if you request it, we can do a USB to Ethernet. And really, you just plug it into one of these secure ports. So I have my bottom ports set to the secure network, and then um, we need power to it. Let me plug this in. There it goes. And as far as the networking, uh, the networking is concerned, 
it just needs to see the machines over the network. That's how it talks to the machines. That's how it communicates everything internally on your secure network and then talks out to Chatter. So Chatter has everything else you need. Um, and then this port, like I just showed you on there, is configured to be on that secure network. So you have this nice little secure home where all your machines live and then everything else, printers, IP cameras, guests and stuff are, are out on another network. They're still firewalled, but they don't need to be talking to your CNC machines, so we don't let them. So anyways, hopefully that's a good rundown on how to do basic network setup and security for your CNC machine shop. And if you have any questions, you know, we're already, or <clears throat> excuse me, we're always on our Discord um, and, you know, support at chatter.dev. If you want some more details on how to configure your network, just reach out. And that's Glitch. <laughs>